video, I'm going to provide a much more tighter upper bound on the on the product of the first n odd positive integers. So, so if you if you recollect from the last video, we were able to provide one such bound, one such upper bound, which happened to be two n to the power n. Now, this is an upper bound, but it does not happen to be one of the more tight upper bounds. There is some other bound that that is much more tighter than two n to the power n. So. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what is a tighter upper bound and I'll start off with by writing down the first n odd positive integers as 1 times 3 times 5 times 7 times 9 going all the way up to the nth, the nth odd positive integer which is 2n minus 1. Now what I can do is that this number over here which happens to the multiplication of all these of all these terms here will be will be less than or equal to if I were to multiply all the numbers irrespective of whether they are odd or even. So if I do 1 times 2 times 3 times 5 times, so I'm forgetting a 4 there, 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5, keep on doing this, keep on doing this until, until you hit 2n minus 1. Okay, so what I do know from here is what I do know from here is that 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 this multiplication over here, this multiplication over here on the right, is going to be is going to be greater, is going to be greater or equal to than the term that happens to be here on the left. So if this term over here is f of x, this is my g of x. Then I know that I can take some constant, multiply this with g of x. So again, we're looking at the absolute values here, looking at the absolute values over here. Okay. And, and this term over here will be greater or equal to f of x for some, for some n, for some n that happens to be greater or equal to k. Okay, which happens to be the definition of big O. So if this is, if this is true, then I can say f of x, f of x is big O of g of x. Okay, so what is this term over here? 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 up to 2n minus 1. Well, this is nothing but the factorial. It's nothing but the factorial, which happens to be 2n minus 1 factorial. So if I want if I were to provide an upper upper bound on the product of the first n odd positive integers, I have one such estimate which is 2n minus 1 factorial and this number over here, this number over here will definitely be will definitely be an upper bound on this product of n odd positive integers. Okay, so I can now say fx is bigger of 2n minus 1 factorial. And if you want to clean this up a little bit further, if you want, you can go up to one extra number. So I can do 2n minus 1 times times 2n, and I can simply say 2n factorial just to clean up that minus 1 there. Okay.